I don't care, y'all. So the video stopped on me. The good news is, though, now the video stops and you have a choice of saving it or not, which you didn't have that option before. It just didn't upload. So I kind of like that feature. I do have a pause button on here, too, so if I need to pause, I can. So I was going to get an Oracle card for you, which I'm still going to do. I don't know if I can figure out. I'm not very good since I do this on my phone, and my phone's not terribly big. It's hard for me to see. I have an, a, an editing app on here that I'm going to see if I can try to put this together as one video, splice it together. Uh, I don't think it's that complicated, but I'll do a little research and see if I can get this done before. If not, it'll be in two parts. So part one, if you're seeing this, there's definitely a part one to this. Do you see? This is all part one. <laughs> It just stopped. I'm telling you, I'm going through it. Mercury retrograde. I don't know what the hell it is. These are the um, the Enchanted Map Oracle cards. Colette Baron Reed. This is one of the very first when I started doing. Uh, I mean, I had. Well, we have two cards. Two cards that came out already. Um, when I first started doing again the tarot, I got this deck, and I believe it at Barnes and Noble. I love it. I loved it when I saw it. I don't see anyone use it. I love it, and it has upright and reversals in here, and I just I don't understand. All right, <clears throat> so to get some, some information, we have two, two cats. Card number 19 first, the Dragon's Lair. Can you see that? Okay, my finger, my big old fat finger in the way. You're always protected and divinely directed. You have a, a remarkable internal warning system that lets you know when things are out of alignment. Y'all listening? <laughs> You're about to enter dangerous territory, so tread carefully and beware of your surroundings. The path you're on now is one that will challenge you to the core. That said, peril is also exciting and exhilarating, like the danger you feel before you enter a new relationship, knowing that you'll be changed forever. A life lived fully isn't lived only in safety. A new experience is calling to you, one that will test your courage. The choice is yours. But there is greater value in risk-taking than remaining unchallenged. New territories are waiting to be discovered. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm reclamped. I'm dying. <laughs> um, indecision. Two of swords. Two of pentacles. Understandable. Two of cups. You have three twos here. Um, I don't know if this is a work situation, partnership. If, if it's communicating something to somebody, if it is a love situation, again, take it as it resonates at the girl screaming next door. She's pissed off about something. So I'm just, she's very hostile for four years old. Let me tell you, very hostile. Um, so you're going to hear the screaming in the background right now. Sorry. Uh, nothing I can do about that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's the joy of living here. Um, but you're having a hard time making some sort of decision and this devil energy is not helping. You know, there's, see, there's there's two individuals down below, masculine. I see masculine and feminine energy down there. A devil is messing with you. The devil is messing with you. That's what I'm hearing here. The devil's messing with you. So he's getting into your thoughts and poisoning them. And he's he's getting into your heart and poisoning that. And it's like you, that's when you need to, to step back and cut something out. You need to cut this devil energy out big time or you're just going to hurt yourself. You are just going to hurt yourself. And the Queen of Swords, like the Ice Queen, she just does it. So I'm just saying, you have to cut something out. Okay. Spirit of Place. Yes. Card number four. Spirit of Place. Authenticity is the essence of power. Our ancient ancestors believe that every place has a spirit looking after it or embodying it. Just as we have a soul, the plants, trees, birds, mountains, and rivers have their own essences. When the spirit of place arrives in your reading, it says that the answer to your query is in the overarching theme of your circumstances. Is your question about a struggle? The answer is to relax and let go of your need to control the situation. Mm -hmm. If your inquiry relates to finding love, then embody love rather than long for it. Once you find the essential truth that underlies your question and then name it, you'll discover the answer you've been seeking. Your greatest power is your authenticity. The Hermit. I'm hearing that the answer is within. The answer is within. Okay. So um, your overarching energy would be the uh, the two of swords. And do you hear the slamming of the door? I deal with this all fucking day long. All day long. They're screaming. They're whining. They're crying. They're, there's never a moment of peace here. It, it wasn't like that before. 
And she said, you know, the girl asked me, do you want to live here anymore? And I'm thinking, hell no. Uh, but it's, it's, it's not that it's a bad place to live. It's the circumstances now. Okay. I'm going to get off of that. I'm sorry. I really, really am sorry. Um, uh, it's just, it's, it's still festering inside of me. So, um, and I have to leave. I have to hurry up and make sure my reading's done and get everything done in the room. Cause I have to leave between 1 PM and 3 PM. So I got to make sure everything's done and I have to get my ass up early. I woke up, like I said, terribly early. Anyway, you're, sorry. You're over. <laughs> shut, shut up, Kelly. <laughs> if anybody's going through it, they're going to understand. Anybody else going to say, would you stop whining? <laughs> okay. Point taken. <laughs> um, two of swords is the overarching energy. Trying to make a decision, not knowing what to do, not maybe not wanting to make a decision, not wanting to see something that's going on. There's something else that's going on here. I'm just going to peek at the bottom of the deck, and then we'll stop. So, and I'm going to read this. Solitude. 13. Oh, dear God, I want solitude so fucking bad. I want to be in this lighthouse by myself with the water or the ocean around me. <laughs> oh, my God. So, solitude. Let's see what we have. I'll read the solitude card. Because now that I've the video's gone off, I can read both. All right? I might read all of them. <clears throat> and then I'll close it off. I am comfortable in my own skin as I detach to replenish my soul. Detach. That's the hermit. You're detaching from the external circumstances. Ex detaching from devil energy going within. Meditation is required. There's your four of swords. When you receive the solitude card as a sign. Empty your mind of superfluous thoughts and allow stillness to flow through your whole being. This is not an advantage, advantage and bleh. this is not an advantageous time to ask questions or push forward in any way. Rather, it's a period for a conscious retreat. What's called for now is to step back and take your focus off your life and your troubles. You'll be surprised by how things sort themselves out. Once you've replenished your energy by means of a much needed rest and time out. <clears throat> so I'm hearing some of you say, well, what are you talking about? You said I need to make a move. I didn't, I, I, again, if you recall, I said slow and steady. These are like baby steps, little by little. And it's not, I'm not saying it's going to be easy. You know, you're going to have to deal with some things. But um, Spirit is giving, telling you the Hermit cards here and the Meditation card. Spirit is saying, by all means, take a time out. You have a lot on your plate, it sounds like. You have a lot going on. Take a time out and meditate because your answers are going to be within. So, and this is intuition. The Two of Swords is also intuition. You may be looking at, again, external things in the situation when really the answer is within you. What does your gut say? You know, um, what does your heart say? Don't let the emotions rule your decision necessarily but you have to be true to yourself oh my god <laughs> you have to be true to yourself and um watch so when i go downstairs that's probably when they'll go downstairs the kids um i can't stand kids so <laughs> um the other two that were here weren't too bad though and plus she worked so they were they were gone and stuff and she took them places this person doesn't do diddly squat and she's a lot she's younger uh, <laughs> yeah parents today um sorry to anyone i offended but you know <laughs> Uh, I'm not saying it's you. I just happen to be around people that don't discipline their children. And so they act crazy. Um, anyways, it's time to take a time out and go get the answer within. So I'm going to leave it at that because I'm not going to, I'm just, I need to take, speaking of taking a time out, I guess I need to take a time out. I'm just annoyed at the fact that I have to be forced to go downstairs now. <clears throat> so I can't, I mean, I have to shower. That's when I'll shower because when am I, I don't want to give up my alone time. So my time up here. So fuck, fuck, I hate people. <laughs> Sorry. I'm sorry. Not you guys. Not you guys. I'm sorry. Um, I don't know why I keep forgetting these situations in my life. I really don't. Oh, my God. Okay. I'm going to stop now. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you do like these daily reads, <laughs> help me out here, y'all. Put a positive thing down in the comments for me. It would mean a lot to me. <laughs> whether on this video or the other one. Um, 
No, do comment. I love hearing from you all. I appreciate it very much. I get a little behind sometimes with the comments because I get quite a few and it's hard for me to keep up sometimes. But I do I do read them all and I do try to comment and, and what have you. Um, it may not be within a couple days, but I'm going to, you know, now that I'm going to be sitting downstairs, that's probably when I'll be doing the comments if I can concentrate. Do consider subscribing and joining the tribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as part of the tribe. Working towards a thousand subscribers. So you can help me out there, but I would just love to have you as part of the tribe because I want to go live. I'm going to go live. I'm on Instagram and Facebook. Come join me there because I'm going to be going live. I think I'm going to leave the house. So on my Instagram, I'm just going to go live and chit-chat with you. I, I don't know if I can do readings. There's really no place around here. I'm physically disabled, so I can't walk very far, uh, just so you all know. Um, so there's no real park or anything around here that I could <laughs> that I could do it in. And some of the parks aren't safe around here, <laughs> just so you know. So, but I may just, you know, go for a little walk and chit-chat with y'all. So come join me over to in, in, follow me on Instagram and, and Facebook. I'm on Facebook, too. Um, I'm, I'm more active on Instagram, but I think you have a longer time on Facebook, so I may switch over to there. But anyways, I'd love to go live on here, but when you do it on your phone, you have to have a 1,000 subscribers. So, uh, I would love to have you join the tribe, absolutely, you know, and hit the bell icon button so you can get notifications of any videos, excuse me, that I do. And you know when I upload them. Um, so I do a variety. You can check out my page. It's all in playlists for easy access. Um, but I would love to have you join and do give me a thumbs up, please. Um, that means a lot to me. If you like these readings, it lets me know you like them. Um, positive feedback's always good, especially when you're in a low vibration right now. It would be really helpful for me. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but also just so you know, if you're not familiar with YouTube, it helps in the algorithm. So when you give a thumbs up or you comment, what it does is it puts, it tells YouTube that people are interacting with the video and, um, it actually promotes the video. So yes, I want to help grow my channel, but think of it this way. I think of it this way, actually, when I, when I do that to other people's videos and they're already established, they're already well over a thousand, but I still do it because somebody may need that message. Um, their videos are probably already promoted, but you never know when someone else may need it. Maybe this didn't you know, resonate with you right now, but uh, or maybe only parts of it did. But um, somebody else may need this message, and if YouTube promotes it, it's like you're you're just helping you're helping a lot of people. Myself, my channel, um, it, you know, it lets me know you like these readings, yada yada yada. But you you know you never know. Someone else may see it and go, oh, you know, cool. This is a good message. This worked for me. This gave me some information, some wisdom. Hopefully. <laughs> so, uh, but I, if, if this did resonate, I hope it helped. All right. I'm rambling on now because I'm very, very, I haven't had any coffee yet either. I just had, this is tea. This is iced tea. I actually made that yesterday. And I let the, um, the tea bag stay in the water. So it, you know, um, I think it's some sort of plum cinnamon tea. Anyways, I am also, well, not, maybe not now because of the circumstances on my phone, but I'm also going to start another channel, just kind of vlog and, and chit chat. But I'm going to do that on Instagram right now and then eventually I can switch over to another channel, maybe. All right. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. I apologize that I went a little long because I was yammering on. I'm sorry. I do that. I got to control myself. I have to shut up during videos because I take up too much time, like I'm doing now. And um, so I'm sorry it shut off. I'm going to try to see if I can splice it together. But if not, it is in two parts. Uh, I was done with the reading, though, thankfully. Thankfully. Um, so it's not like it was chopped in two. It's just like, you know, Oracle, part two, if you want to take a little pee-pee break <laughs> in between, <laughs> go get something to eat. Okay, now I can do the Oracle part. <laughs> okay. Thank you all for tuning in. I do love you all. Thank you for making me, thank you for joining me because this makes me happy doing this channel. It really does. This is the brightest point in my life. This is basically, this is my life. Uh, and I love you all. So I hate people in general, but I love you guys. Because <laughs> if you're watching Tarot, you've got to be, you got to be cool people, you know? You just have to be. So, you know, anyways, thank you so much for tuning in again. And uh, I hope to see you tomorrow morning. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I did do um, the Zodiac Love Reads and the, and the Zodiac uh, Reads for the month of July are up too if you want to check those out. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. I love you. Stay safe, stay strong, and stay happy. Mwah. And stay positive. Peace out to y'all.